What's up guys, Ryan here, and uh, today I wanted to talk to you about um, a different kind of movie than I usually do. Um, I've done this sort of thing in the past, but uh, I haven't done one in a while. And this is one I wanted to talk about for a while. Um, and it's a short film by the name of Mr. Mullen. Um, it was released, gosh, I think it was last summer, um, like July maybe or something like that, uh, by um, Scott Goldberg. Uh, who I, I also talked about one of his films before, Loss of Hope, um, and he has a whole um, slew of films to his name. Um, uh, he's an excellent, excellent short film director, and this film um, uh, is, you know, no short of fantastic, I think, uh, for a short film. I just really, really enjoyed it. I've actually watched it a fair amount of time, so I wanted to talk about it here on the channel. And um, uh, it's, uh, how do I describe it? I wanted to talk about, I, of course, I'm... Uh, uh, have it under the oh the horror title here because it is sort of a horror story but at the same time it's um it's it's got more depth than your usual horror story that's for sure um and really it's just the gruesome events that sort of uh cap off the film that lean it toward the horror genre i think um it's a very politically charged film uh basically it follows the story of uh, an individual named chris who sort of narrates the film and hard times have hit america uh, as you know, is really the way of the world right now, and I think it's something like one fifth of the workforce is supposed to have been, um, you know, have lost their jobs. He used to work on Wall Street, probably fairly wealthy, and he loses it all from what you can see in the film. And uh, he takes up sort of, um, I don't know, the torch of patriotism, and he's um, speaking throughout the whole film about the corruption of the politicians in America and. And sort of focuses on the title character, Edward D. Mullen, who is the new mayor, um, and uh, who's played by Robert Youngren, I believe. And uh, and Chris, the title character, is played by Chris Margaritis. Margar I think it's Margaritis, anyway. Uh, and uh, uh, basically, he sort of he focuses all that sort of anger and energy towards him, probably because he... I guess I don't know how to exactly put it, but maybe he was involved in the cutbacks, the the people being um, let go of their jobs. The, he blames him basically for the poor economy, for everything. And um, and the film sort of uh, it, it sort of uh, frames Edward Mullen um, in a negative light. It's sort of like you see the public facing Edward Mullen, and then you see um, sort of the you know his his true self. Of course, that's to be determined by the viewer, I guess, if it's that sort of thing, or if it's just Chris in this sort of state of mind, he sees him as this evil entity, and that's something you have to choose for yourself when you see it. And um, it basically, like I said, uh, it, it really takes a stab at um, a sort of a, a, a community of people who just sort of cow against, uh, cow um, down, uh, you know, uh, do whatever their politicians tell them, think everything's great and cozy when it's not. Um, he really takes a lot of stabs at party girls and um, people that sort of, mm, you know, in a name, they, they find their lives more involved with the name things like um, what's going on on TV and partying and all this sort of stuff. And that's sort of, you know, uh, I guess you could look at that as, um, I don't know, something like that. that's their way of uh, dealing with the situation, you know, um, living another person's life on a reality TV show instead of dealing with your own kind of thing. And uh, there's a lot of this really interesting sort of dialogue and intricacy to the film. And when you watch it, I think you get your own sort of idea of what's going on. And really, I'm just giving you my viewpoint, I guess. But and I don't want to I don't want to ruin the film either, um, because you can go watch it at MrMullenFilm.com. Um, and I, I really suggest that you go there and check it out. It's really excellent. Um, like I said, I've watched it a fair amount of times now. Um, it's framed really well, shot really well, looks great. Uh, music is excellent. Mark Nadolsky did the music, as he did for Loss of Hope. And uh, it's just really, really excellent. Uh, I love the, the music at the very end when the credits roll. I just think that sounds so great. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I won't say where the film goes, but it's sort of like Chris um, takes his, uh, uh, his anger and his, his sort of uh, need for vengeance and kind of combines it with the belief that a revolution is needed for change and that he's going to spark a spark a revolution with the, the other patriots that are out there in the world and he takes this to a sort of gruesome end and it really is a gritty gritty ending i think um framed really well by uh the white t-shirt that chris wears during it and I, I think you just need to go over and watch that i don't want to say anything else more about it and ruin it i just think that you should check it out and that's why i wanted to do a video about this so 
Um, it's a short one, but I would really like you guys to go check out the film, so I wanted to make a video about it. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, take care, and I will talk to you soon. Peace.